Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support, being able to walk in your true on, on your true path and being your authentic self, walking in your authenticity, that's why I make this, I don't know why I get tongue tied over that word, so with that being said, much love to all, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way, and if you have been watching my videos for a while, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell, so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, um, if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are truly going through some hard times right now and need confirmation and validation towards their soul purpose or even their life path, please go ahead and share it while you're at it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for stopping by my channel and sending me so much love and support. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. You know, I'm just glad I can be able to send out that loving, comforting vibe towards your way you turn around and send it right back which is truly a blessing and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video this beautiful um uh meditation i've been finding a lot of them. i know y'all hear me say that but every time i get on one i'm like oh i want that one just because the, the when the picture can really stick out to you and they you know and they have something really behind the title of it i really love those because those are really powerful meditations and i love to share with my love bugs as well is called uh, Return to the Light, Become the Master of Your Life. Uh, ASMR, 3D Sounds of Nature Manifestation. And, um, well, uh, in my video, I said, well, that being said, with my video today, Twin Flame 101, Hey Opus, don't allow yourself to be triggered. You know, and it's hard to do that at times, you know, it's like, we're, like I said, we're heading on this path to self-discovery, you know, learning ourselves, being able to love ourselves on so many different levels, being able to accept the unexpected, you know, when it comes to yourself, because it's a lot of times, it's a hard pill to swallow when things happen. I look at my life, and there's sometimes I can look like at my dad, or just sit back and see my situation, and I'm like, you know, my friend Landon from, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, amazing t top 10 he's like is this real life right now <laughs> and it is you know you sit back and just like is this really my life am I really doing these things yes you are and it's just like sometimes memories will come up that has really triggered you you know it's really you know put you in a dark place and then sometimes it allows you to get triggered at times you know I've sat here and it's like certain emotions will come up when it comes to my family or even my, my parents, my, my biological parents as well as my adopted ones. And I get really sad or I get aggravated and I ask why did I have to go through this and, you know, why did I have to be put in the, you know, in a position that I lost a lot of things. And, you know, I had to really, I really broke down and cried and, you know, I asked God why did I have to go through these things It's so hard to deal with and you know God don't tell me you know in a response we know and it's a fact that we, did, we weren't putting you in a position like this for you to change we needed this situation to change you but while you're while it's changing you you're helping others change themselves as well and it's a beautiful situation even though it's tragic at times it's a beautiful situation when I can step back without putting my emotions in this and it's just like yes you've been through these things yes you've been abandoned you've been neglected you have been hurt in so many different ways you've been womanized you've been verbally and mentally and emotionally abused sexually abused but you know these things were to have you open up to the world and allow people to know you know these things wasn't sent to break you even though it has messed you up mentally it really has because it's like when I look at my situation I told my adopted father you have messed me up mentally you know I would never wish that on anybody you know to be abused like that you know and it's just like when I can really look at my situation it's like anybody else I really you know and I said I'm not sitting up here saying that my situation is worse off than anybody else's but for being in a predicament like this 
any other person that was not on that right level and state of mind and their mental was really messed up like mine has been, they would have reached out in anger and probably would have killed themselves or killed the people that caused it. You know, but when I look at my situation, it's like when people really knew what I went through, they were like, Rosalind, you did not hurt these people. I said, believe me, I, I was oh, I was going to push, push a hole to the dome. But I'm just like, you know what? There's a reason for this happening. And it's not for me to get back at them the way, you know, the devil wanted me to. Because the devil used to put, you know, anger in my mind. Like, you know, there's times where I had people that had AK-47s and wanted to shoot up somebody's house. Yes, I did want to do that. But then it's just like, you know what? I don't wish death on people like that. I can sit up here and it took me a lot to not allow. And the devil be trying to bring that back. Trust and believe. When you know you're on the goodness, the greatness, you know, uh, there's things that came back to me made me want to say you know what just since your dad's dead they deserve to be dead too death is too good for folks like that <laughs> you get off way too easily that's why it's like a lot of times i look at these crime shows and it's just like sometimes i can see i can understand why they did what they did but that shouldn't be your route it shouldn't be your route because they deserve give credit while credit is due and put press the blame on the attitude that those people did not the people and I had to really look at it like that. Like, I could not blame them. I can, I can blame I said, you are ugly. You can be a beautiful person with an ugly attitude. Or you can be the most prettiest person and still have an ugly attitude. So it's just like, I can't sit up here and wish death on anybody like that. You know, I had to be able to heal in so many different ways. Like, you know, if I was to have to see them. I, I'm not even going to you know retaliate the way my my old self want me to because the old self would you know what i don't put my hands on old people but you ought to whoop your ass <laughs> okay because i really felt like you deserved that in any kind of route but it's like the new roslyn and i have to tell people that you better be glad roslyn ain't the old roslyn anymore because there have been some issues but i can look at myself and say i've grown in so many different ways spiritually emotionally mentally you know i really have because it's like I had to pray for them folks. I really did. I can't even, I can't put, say, pray for my family because that's not my family. Family don't do stuff like that to people, you know. But I had to, I had to pray for them and ask God to forgive me for having that hatred towards them or wanting to do something like that towards those people. And I had to really get on my knees and cry, like really let out a cry and just get, forgive myself for feeling that way about those people. And it was like, that was the biggest blessing that God could have gave me. And I'm trying not to cry about that now. Because that was a beautiful thing. Because I had to remove that anger in my heart for those folks. That has put me in the worst kind of way. It's like I lost my brother. I lost my mom. You know, uh, my grandparents off of both sides. I never had a chance to really meet them. But it's like, you know, they're spiritually coming to me. And I hear my grandmother, Maddie, all the time. And my grandfather, John. I don't really hear from my mom's side because I don't know what's going on with that. And they probably have talked to me. I just didn't recognize them, but I recognize my grandparents on my dad's side. So it's just like all these different things I've been blessed with because it's like with this gift, I said at least, yes, I have got the chance to, you know, miss out on the physical sense of my family. But it's a blessing that God allows me to communicate with them spiritually. And it's like, you know, uh, you know, and I ask God, you know, if you have me to have to meet these people again, you know, and I'm not talking about my dad's family, but the folks that, that did these things to me, please allow me to have that anger gone away. And it's just like, when I can think about it, I allow that memory just to go past and just say, you know, you no longer belong to me. I'm going to put it to where it belongs and you need to deaden that issue. Because it's like, if you want blessings to come in your life, you have to allow yourself to forgive that situation. Like, I really have to tell myself that every day, you have to forgive this situation. This wasn't supposed to make you, allow you to have hatred over anybody. Because, yeah, that's the most hateful thing to do is find out who you're related to and allow your fears to come out into play. But just because your fears came out to play don't mean that has to be your outcome is being angry all the time because that you ain't going to let anything beautiful come into your life. You're not going to be able to allow it to because you are allowing these emotions, these past emotions to still trigger you. And it's just like anybody who knows my true situation, you know, that takes a lot. 
to have to do. I mean, it took me three years to be that way, even though this has been on, but it's just for me knowing the whole truth and why I went through the things I had to go through. Like I said all the time, I thank them for doing this to me because if it didn't, I wouldn't be making videos with you. I wouldn't have met, met the most beautiful people that are beautifully scarred like me. And I find that very beautifully scarred. You are. And it's like when you can be able to wear your scars with pride, being able to say, yes, this has happened to me, but it also healed me in so many different levels, so many different dimensions, being able to rise above everything that was sent to break you. You know, I just did a video of not allowing things to trigger you, being able to love the scars that has been placed upon you. Being able to say these scars scare your, your scars tell a story. That'll be another content because I'm like, God, dog, that's good. <laughs> so it's just like when you're going through that route, bless yourself because it's just like if these people did not place this upon you, you would have never knew what you spiritually were. You know, that gave you that spiritual acknowledgement about yourself. Um, being able to walk in that path of self-discovery being able to walk authentic path and be able to see yourself for who you truly are not hiding behind the things that has happened to you you should never be ashamed of the things that happened to you because that that taught you a lot about yourself even though that might, that stuff might hurt the long way any anyway you know and I, I pray for people that have went through situations like me, you know, been abused by your parents, anything that has messed you up mentally, I pray for people like that, because you need to be able to heal, you deserve to be happy, you know, you know, I used to have people tell me, you need to let it go, and it's just like, you don't tell people stuff like that, but I tell people, you need to allow yourself to heal, because that's not where you deserve to be at, being stuck in that limbo of reliving, that, that's a painful scenario that you need to walk away from, because you need to walk into a grace of happiness. You, you need to know that, yeah, this situation happened to me, but it's brought out so much of a beautiful self-esteem. Um, I, I hold myself on a high pedestal when it comes to loving myself. And it's not like you're looking at anybody beneath them. The only time you should be looking beneath somebody is when you're trying to help them up. You never look beneath anybody. Nobody's better. You dirt, you dirt, you know, dirt and dust. You start, and then you, when you end, you'll be dirt and dust. You know, everybody live and die the same way. But it's just like being able to be blessed to see yourself in so many different ways. Being able to know that the situations that you know has happened to you, you can remember them, but remember how much they taught you. Not allow, you know, don't let darkness bring those things in. Um, affect you. Because it's like darkness, when they know you're heading towards something beautiful and you're about to end, a, you know, a traumatic, you know, chapter of your life, an emotional chapter, you have to be able to say, you know what, when those, those memories come back up, it's like, yeah, this happened. But look how much I have been able to acknowledge for being, you, you shouldn't allow those triggers to hold you back. So being able to be blessed that you went through these things, because if it didn't, you wouldn't have been able to know who, what you were truly capable of, what, what, you know, your true self was, because it brought all that strength up that you didn't know that you had, you know, being able to, you know, spark that, that fire and you did, you know, that was been dimmed down for so long that you can be able to, you know, light back up. So I hope you are able to res resonate with the content of this video. Please drop me a line. I'll love a chance to hear from you. Like I said, I missed y'all on those those 48 hours. I truly did miss y'all, but I had to do some soul searching for myself. And every time I come back, I feel so good when I do. So I hope you have a blessed, safe week. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always a way out there praying for your better days. It's about to be 14 minutes, so I will give you a shout out on the next video. Much love, peace. Be wild.